Good evening everybody and welcome back to the gaming channel and to Streaming Tuesdays. Was it just me or was that slightly quieter in one ear than the other? Because it shouldn't be doing that. I think my sound settings might be slightly wrong. So, failure bell. Yeah, don't, don't know what's going on there. That, that feels wrong in, in quite, quite a big way. Um, my microphone's okay. Uh, not not sure what happened with the <coughs> with the um, with the video there, but some something wasn't right. Anyway, I'm listening in mono, so I can't comment. Fair enough. Uh, reversing the polarity of the neutron flow. No, no, no. We, we, we haven't done that for ages, and I'm not going to start now. Not since I was John Pertwee. Well, anyway. <laughs> Hello everybody, um, Ekkage is here, Lord Rassilon is here, and Dalek Sec is here, welcome, and Ace of Riddles just joined us. Hello to all of you. Sorry, I'm thoroughly disorganised this evening, I've just noticed there's a pile of paper on my desk and it's annoying me. Uh, but never mind, we won't worry about that. How are we all doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Um, for someone who um, has been... Off of their medication, because they didn't realise they'd run out until last thing on Friday, uh, for... Let's see, where are we now? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday... Four days! Four days! Yay! These are my antidepressants. Um, the mood stabilisers I've still got. Um, but the antidepressants are missing. And boy, the withdrawal symptoms are fun. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which which didn't help because I was in a low mood anyway. So yay, go me. Uh you've got COVID. Oh bloody hell! Yeah, I can sympathise. It's not fun. Mm. No, I sim I sympathise a great deal. That is not fun at all. I hope you're doing better. Um, yeah. So that's that's where I am at. Uh, not not doing so good, but it's okay. It's all good. I'll be fine. Uh, should have drugs from tomorrow. So, be alright then. Dalek Sack, I am good. Excellent. That's good to hear. <sighs> it's lovely to see all of you. Um, I've got no one to play with tonight because uh, the cold gun is working. Um, so, it's it's just going to be me flying on, 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 on this occasion. Um, yeah, should should be good. Uh, let's, 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 let's get into the game. In, in a second, which which has just locked up for some reason. I don't know why. Why have you locked up? There we go. Right, so from that, and let's. I said let's. Right, there we go. Right, so fade up the sound, drop into the game. This is what we're doing this evening. We are flying from uh, Land's End Airport over here. Uh, where there's oh there is there is someone there hello uh, Jillo Blues I doubt you're watching this but hello nonetheless uh, we are flying from Lands End Airport we're going to do a quick loop around Lands End which is over here it's in the most westerly point uh, of the island of Great Britain uh, not the Ireland the island of Great Britain ah, so yes uh, so we'll do a do a little loop around here. And then we are going to whip over Penzance and then fly across Cornwall. Uh, to the Eden Project, uh, up through Devon, uh, to uh, Salisbury Plain and Stonehenge, uh, all around this bit, lovely. And then we head north east to uh, where are we going? Uh, Blenheim Palace, uh, whip up to Warwick Castle, zip past Birmingham and take in Iron Bridge, head north to Jodrell Bank, northeast again to Fountain Abbey. Uh, to Middlesbrough to take in the Tees Transporter Bridge, the Angel of the North up near Sunderland and Newcastle upon Tyne, uh, and then we whip north uh, west uh, to Floors Castle, up to Edinburgh Castle, across the Fourth Bridge, and then a bit further north, Blair Castle, then we head northeast again to Balmoral, and then we scream through U turn and head uh, west towards uh, Ben Nevis and Fort William. Scream round again and head north east uh, through Loch Lochy along the Great Glenway to Inverness because we're going to Scotland. I can't not. Uh, and then we 
take a slight left and head almost due north to this point here and then follow the land uh, up to John O'Groats and then land in Wick uh, where our journey will end. Now that says that should take us about three hours. I'm going to try and do it quicker than that so we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Anyway let's uh, not waste time I'm just going to go in here and just make sure yeah, I've set the fuel at 100%. I've no doubt it will have changed that by the time I get into the game, because that's what it did when I tested it earlier. Uh, but let's get in and get the flight underway, because we've got a long way to go. Ah. You have not missed much at all. Uh, we are all good so far. I'm hoping I can get this thing off the ground on the first attempt for a change. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, my wife has uh, prepared me a bowl of snacks. Um, because it's bake-off night and she had snacks so I get to share some snacks which is nice so what we what we got here I think we've got little um, tiny jelly babies um, I think there's some randoms in here some munchies I think these are crunchy pieces so I'll, I'll, I'll be picking at those Anyway, we are in. This is the Hawker Hunter, which was recommended to me by the uh, Cold Gunner as a freeware jet. Since the Hawk still isn't working. Just Flight emailed me today and said there's a patch coming uh, for um, update 10 for Flight Simulator. So hopefully it will work uh, at some point, but not at the moment. So we are, we're, we are flying this thing, which is the um, built by the same company that built the Hurricane. Uh, the Hunter was their answer to the jet aircraft. Um, and it's, it's quite a pretty thing to look at, I think. Uh, but yes, this is, this is what we'll be taking on our, on our little flight today. So, uh, no missing about. We're not going to go through the engine startup sequence. I'm just going to press that button there that says engine start and cheat. So I haven't got time to mess about today. So if we now go into air traffic control, uh, tune tower... Uh, and we are going to request departure to the west. Ground Hawker X-Ray Golf 168 request taxi for departure to the west. Hawker X-Ray Golf 168 taxi to and hold short of runway 16. Taxiway cross runway 07. Contact tower on 120 Decimal 255 when ready. Okay, uh, there we go. Taxi hold short runway. And I'm not going to contact uh, ground control and ask for a pushback because I don't need to. Let's fire that up. And as soon as we start moving, go hard on the rudder. Because this thing's turning circle is insane. Oi! 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 Get out the way, you pillock! Good God, what are you, what are you playing at? I will drive through you. Don't think I won't. There we go. And, and now, now he's just walking through my jet. What? Whatever. Whatever. You do you. Right. Oh, there's another one there. That's pretty cool. Nice to see. Right. Now then. And chuck it right. Yeah, the turning circle on this is mad. A bit like the Spitfire. Mad turning circle. Right, so I'm going to pull up here and then request uh, take off because then I've got to accelerate down the runway, turn around, and then accelerate to take off speed. Oh, while I'm here, actually, close the throttle. Uh, I can see there it says the fuel is at 75%. So let's uh, whack that up to. Yeah, 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 go, go away. Whack that up to 100%. Make sure we've got enough fuel. Uh, and request takeoff clearance. Tower Hawker X-ray Golf 168 at runway 16 ready for departure. Departure to the west. Hawker X-ray Golf 168 altimeter 30 decimal 241152 F4. Okay. Departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 16. Cleared for takeoff runway 16. Thank you very much. Now 1-6 is over to the right there, so we just take a right turn and make our way down the runway 
at, at, at a reasonable speed because we then got to turn around and actually uh, take off. Is the DTS Workshop posting the lyrics to Road to Nowhere in the chat room? <laughs> well, so I'm pleased to say that for the moment at least, knock on wood, the, um, the chat room appears to be working on the screen. If it doesn't, we'll turn it off. But it does seem to be working for the moment. There's nine of you! There are not nine of you talking though, so don't, don't be shy. Say hello. Just have a quick shifty to the right. Uh, to the left, sorry. Um, there is a plane on the runway there, but it appears to just be sitting there, so I'm not going to worry about that. Right, okay. Um, brakes, 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 brakes. Crash on purpose. No, I did that last week. I constantly crash. I'm not going to do it on purpose. <laughs> right, it's all fun until someone gets decapitated. Indeed, it is. Right, now... The, the runway here at Land's End is a little bit short, actually, so I've, I've got a plan. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the parking brake on, whack the throttle up, and then let go, so we get like an aircraft carrier type effect. That's the plan, anyway. Afterburner? Um, I'm not sure this has an afterburner. I think it's a bit, uh, bit early in jet history for afterburners. I could be wrong. Right, okay. Right, so, lock. And we are cleared for takeoff. So, here we go. Full throttle. Oh, just wait, just wait for Matey Bonds here to get off the runway. There we are, and away we go. Excessive taxi speed. Yes, I know, but I'm not taxiing. I'm on a runway. Come on, come on, we need 110. Whoa! Thought you were well off the runway. Right, and pull up. Pull up. There we go. That's it. <laughs> oh, that did not sound very happy. Right, 70% throttle. Let's ease off a bit. There we go. And we are away, and I didn't crash it. Victory is mine. Continue for West Departure. Tower Hawker X-Ray Golf 168 continue for West Departure. You got it. Here we go. Frequency change approved. Tower Hawker X-Ray Golf 168 frequency change. And tune approach and request flight following. Now, Land's End, I believe, is that bit down there. Or is it? I'm not sure. I think it's that bit there. Just there. That looks to be the furthest part uh, to the west of the coast. And I'm now plummeting towards the ground, but fair old lick, so let's dip the load. nose ever so slightly. <laughs> Oh, sorry, hold on, say again. One seven six seven. Knowledge score code. There we are, that is the uh the last bit of uh, Great Britain, and over there, somewhere, is America. <laughs> now, we we'll get pointing in the direction we want to go, and not trade our contact. A bit cloudy, it is a bit, but this is the current weather, so we're rolling with it. Heading off towards the Eden Project now, which is 42 miles away. Easy. Easy! Right. Straighten her up. And away we go. Yes, this is just going to be a very brief look at everything today, I think. How, how's the volume for everyone, by the way? Is it okay? I, I was worried it was a bit loud, but I'm not sure.
climb to, say, 8,000 feet and then level off a bit. Volume's fine. Good. Good, good, good. Time for a treat. Not one. Manchester Centre, you got it. Level her off. Jim Manchester Centre. Contact. Manchester Centre, Hawker, X ray goal, 168,900. Trim the nose down ever so slightly so we can see if we can level off a bit. Okay, we are now at 10,000 feet. Okay, no one wants to talk to me. Game's a little loud. Okay, hold on. Um, okay, hang on, might have to go into the stream deck there with. Uh, reduce that to say 35. Should we try that? How's that now? Any better? Um, say again, please. Got it, acknowledge the handoff. One tree, four decimal, zero five, Tucker, one six eight. Jim, approach, contact approach. This thing just wants to keep climbing, it's great. And you're handing me back to Manchester again. Make your mind up. I wonder if I can turn the air traffic control sound up a bit. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Sound. Here we are. Uh, master. Voices. Aircraft engines. Um, let me see. Uh, let's knock that down a smidge, say. So it's, it does seem excessively loud. Uh, let's see, how is that now? Manchester Centre. Manchester Centre, Hawker, X ray goal, 16812. 13 miles, okay, let's start descending again, so we're gonna pass it. Keep, they're gonna keep doing this to me, aren't they? Never mind. How's that volume now? Still quite quiet, I'm guessing. Gene approach. Contact approach. Yep, Eden Project down below. Now whip, whip in and say hello very briefly. There we are. They're not going to know what's hit them because I'm just coming screaming out of the sky. <laughs> there we go. And there it is, the Eden Project. There we go. And hello, the Eden Project. Farewell, the Eden Project. Right. Throttle up and let's climb again because our next uh, location, Stonehenge, is 120 miles away. A lot of ground to cover, long way to go. Right. Let me see about the game volume. If 
I knock that up to 50 again while, while still keep, keeping an eye on the controls because it does it, do, it, it wants to misbehave today if I then turn that up a little it's still very quiet isn't it hold on hold on let me uh, change the audio again because again I think this I think this plane is very, very loud, so if I knock that down to about 50, because then um, aircraft miscellaneous, fine, cockpit warnings, other aircraft, fine, environment, user interface, yep, yeah, fine. And then if I go back now, how is that? Still not perfect, but I think it's better than it was. Contact Manchester again. Uh, other than scaring children, taking sweets and the Halloween special, what else are you doing for Halloween? Um, I will be doing nothing. Because uh, as I previously stated, I don't like Halloween that much. Um, um, yes, Halloween episode. Yes, um, I have written said Halloween episode. I've now just got to find some time to film it. I've got a couple of annual leave days coming up later in the month. So I'm hoping to do it then, but if I don't, it will be sometime after Halloween. It is supposed to be a Halloween special, however, so I'm hoping it will be done before then. Uh, it's not that scary, to be fair, it's just, just a little bit unnerving. Um, what did I think of the trailer for Jodie's last episode? Um, it looks interesting. Um, I'm excited to see the conclusion of her arc, so to speak, um, but I feel like there's a lot going on and I'm worried that the companion departures and the doctor departure will either be rushed or squeeze out the story entirely. Mind you, I don't know how long it's going to be, so who knows. Yeah, that, that's, that's my worry anyway, that it will just squeeze out the story. But no, we'll see. Might be, might be good. Okay, I am going to sit at ten thousand feet uh, and let the, the plane do do the work. Oh no no we want, no no no! We want to trim the nose up. Trim, 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 up. Oh, that's, that's it, that's it. There we go. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Not, 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 not enough to climb. Just, just up. No, no. Li little more. Li little more. There we go. And trim, 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 trim. And... Eh, good enough. It's a remarkable machine, this. It's, <laughs> it's great fun to fly. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Exeter Approach, you got it. Okay, tune Exeter Approach, contact Exeter Approach. I would forgive everything that's happened in this era if it turns out Yaz was a plant by the master all along. If everything, I would forgive the whole era if that is the twist. Because that would be amazing. Oh god. It's a good thing I've not got um, the abandonment issues, isn't it? <laughs> I think the problem is I'm just passing through um, airspace so quickly they um, they're just handing me off. That's okay. Um, this is a Hawker Hunter. It is what uh, Hawker built after they built the Hurricane and the jet engine was uh, becoming the, the replacement for the prop engine. 
So, uh, yeah. Manchester Center, Hawker X Ray Golf, 168, We are drinking fuel. Alright, we're going to have enough. We it said we should do uh, when you when you when you load the flight and tell it how much fuel it's going to have on the um, setup screen. It shows you a radius of what your uh, of um, ah, words it shows you a radius of what your fuel will allow you to do, and it's well within the um, the boundary of my flight plan, so should be fine. But that's making me a little bit nervous. Nice to know there's other planes around. If anyone is watching who has Flight Simulator, by the way, feel free to exit her again. Are you kidding me? Is it just because I keep sort of dipping in and out of the tens of thousands of feet? Is that the problem? Can I drop the wing tanks once they're empty? Um, I think we might be able to, actually. Um, let me see here. Uh, that's bombs. We don't. We don't want to do that. <laughs> um, uh, fuel tanks. Um, ah, hang on. Fuel control system. Here we are. Um, port tank booster on. Tank selector. Uh, um, I'm not sure. Is is my answer? I, I assume so, but not sure. Have I ever done Gallifrey 1? I have not, no. Yes, you're using the external fuel first. Uh, and then we'll... Yeah, port stop. I think we're just drinking through the, uh, the port fuel. That doesn't sound sensible. That's just, just going to upset everything, surely. Um, hmm... I'm, I'm just dropping out the sky again. Uh, no, I've not done Gallifrey 1. It's, um, it's, it's something I'd like to do at some point, but no, I, ha I haven't done it thus far. Uh, what What is this fella here? That is payload selector. Well, that's, that's, that's got to be to do with buttons. We don't need that. Um, altimeter. Uh, fuel pressure. Oxygen supply. Uh, port tank pump, starboard tank pump, I should probably turn that on and start actually using the fuel that's provided. There we go, yeah. Turn on. Just going to turn my port tank off just until we, um, we, 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 we even out the weight a bit. About one five six, so another minute or two, we should be all right. Dalek Airlines has given you a raise. I like it. <laughs> How are we doing there? Uh, one seven three. Six. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, steady. There we go. Right. Uh, one, five, eight, one, five, seven, one, five, six, and on. There we go. We should now be using fuel from the external tanks at an equal rate. 
I've got to get a challenge for you in this game. Try and see if you can go to outer space. Um, yeah, that might be fun. Um, what's my opinion on Tom Baker? Uh, I mean, if you say you don't love Tom Baker, doesn't the fandom um, try and murder you? I do love Tom Baker. He's no John Pertwee, but I do love Tom Baker. My last Jedi baby. Oh. Ease it off, ease it off. There we go. Right, so, what, what do you do with these when they're empty? Because it looks to me like, yes, you should be able to drop the fuel, but I can't see how. I mean, the pump's on, so that's fine. We know, we know we're using the fuel correctly. That's all good. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm drifting again. I don't want to be drifting, actually. Does the payload switch let you drop them? Let's see. Um, oh, yes, 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 right, okay, yes, so that button there will let us jettison the drop tanks, so we'll, we'll wait until they're empty, of course, but then yes, yes, it will let us do that, oh, that is excellent news, yes, I think it's letting me select the, it's selecting the fuel automatically for me, so that's good, Good to know. Excellent. Okay, well when when we burn through the external fuel, I should be able to ditch those then. That's all right. I'll tr I'll try and do it over some water. <laughs> that might be a good shout. Let's contact London Centre. Start dropping a bit because we want to see Stonehenge as we go past it. Make your mind up. So, I was at a conference today and, um, Well, not really a conference. It was a team day, um, and it was it was all you know, sort of rather dry stuff. Um, you know, presentations and that sort of thing. No one asked you. Um, yeah, it was it was all you know, sort of presentations about the business and how we're doing, and that's that's all good. I've, I have two more jelly babies. I didn't know I had. Today is a good day. Um, um, lost my train of thought there. Yeah, um, we we were talking about the business and um, and uh, you know it was all presentation about how we're doing and you know what we can improve on and all that stuff and that's and that's all fine. It's all interesting the first time around, but then people come and repeat it. <laughs> um, and during the coffee break, I found my mind wandering, and it occurred to me that I've got a really good idea for a lecture. Just like a one-off lecture um, about train planning and how you could apply it to model railways. And, and I've, I've thought it, it might be quite amusing uh, if I was to do like a, a, an educational bit about train planning, but then it would be quite comedic because I would then apply it to my garden railway um, which just doesn't need it because it's so small um, and I thought it might be quite amusing trying to take the planning techniques I use in my day job uh, and apply them to the, to the garden railway and I thought perhaps there's some comedy to be found in doing that but also potentially other people might want to do it for their layouts um, 
But I've no idea if that would be interesting to everybody. So, um, yeah, what do you guys think? Because um, I, I, I think it could potentially be interesting, but I also know that some of the model railway people I know just w wouldn't appreciate the comedic elements. Um, some of them definitely would. Some of them, I think, would be well up for it. Certainly some BLR people I know would, would probably find this really, uh, really interesting and probably quite enjoyable talk. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm in two minds about it. I might speak to uh, Lawrence at the Model Railway Club um, and see if they would be interested in me doing it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, it, it just might be nice to sort of educate people on what train planning is, but also do a comedic spin on it by applying it to something ridiculously small. Um, but if someone's got a really complicated layout, like uh, Pete Waterman's West Coast Mainline route, um, those techniques might actually be useful if they want to run a timetable service. So, could the Daleks give the lecture? Um, probably not. I feel like that, that might be a slightly meta joke too far. We are five miles from Stonehenge. Wave to the Pandorica, everybody. <laughs> so the consensus seems to be I should do it. <laughs> well, that's nice to know. I can do a funny. <laughs> okay, wave to the Pandorica, everybody. We're about to fly over it. <laughs> uh, over it, not into it, please. Thank you. There it is. Stonehenge, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't it look glorious? Excellent. Right, and pull up and start a bank to the left. Oh. The game's locked up on me. That's not a good start. Stonehenge has indeed caused a time lock. I think I've crashed the game. Hang on. Ha! Oh, oh, no, maybe not. Have we... It, it moved! It definitely moved! Oh, ah, there we go. Just a, a glitch in the temporal matrix, it's fine. <laughs> Never mind, it's all good. <laughs> Alright, Blenheim Palace, our next call. 42 miles away. what you can't do instead if you do that lecture video. I can do two things. I mean, it's not really a video. I thought I, I'd write it as a talk and do a PowerPoint. Yeah, it's probably Missy's fault. Oh, now you want to talk to me. Fine. Um, 
um, oh, um, I've got to request airspace transition, hold on. London Centre Hunger, X-Ray Golf 168. Request clearance to transition, Charlie Airspace. Okay, good. Most of the royals in the planet, palace. Um, are the people who live in uh, Blenheim Palace royals anymore? I don't really know. I mean, I assume they must be minor royals if they are. Fourteen thousand feet. That's a bit higher than I wanted to be. Talking about the um, um, classic series Daleks, but with like the blue eye stalk, because I love them. They looked great. Gosh, this thing just eats the miles. It's brilliant. <laughs> down there that no one warned me about. That would have been useful to know about actually air traffic control. because I don't want to be going over speed. Contact Oxford Approach! There's Blenheim Palace. Pull up slightly so we don't go straight into the ground. Oxford Airport there. Oxford over there, presumably. There's Blenheim Palace. Oh no, not again. Oh, there we are. Right. Okay. A um, little bit cloud, this over here. Um, so we're gonna give it some more welly. Turn to the north and head towards Warwick Castle. Do you have radar? No, 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 no. This is very basic. This, this is like an early, early jet aircraft didn't have things like radar or computers on these things. Ah, they're very basic. It's all analog dials, look. I love it. Proper. How are we doing on the old fuel front? Uh, okay, actually. We're doing alright. I think things are going okay. Yes, but bombers were a lot bigger. Um, you couldn't really fit all of the equipment for radar in an aircraft this size back then. I did know that about the Reverend W. Audrey. It's, um... It's, uh, yeah. What's my favourite music? Um... Anything from the 1980s, Birmingham Approach. I quite like Electric Dreams. Or together in Electric Dreams. Um, Duran Duran, Ultravox, um, who else?
No, not the Spice Girls. <laughs> the Spice Bird Girls killed pop music and it never recovered. I do like the Twelfth Doctor theme. It's one of my favourite pieces of Murray Gold's music. Six miles to Warwick Castle. Buzz the castle. Here we go. A lot of good memories of Warwick. We used to go there all the time. Here we go. Nice. Hello, Warwick. A oh, Warwick, a oh, Warwick. <laughs> and turn to the west for Iron Bridge. I don't remember the 80s, but I was brought up on all the music because it was my parents' music. Don't feel old. It's all good. I feel old because um, one of the people in my cohort at work, where I'm doing my operational planner training, she's she's like this 19-year-old girl, um, and she's very sweet, bless her. Her dad uh, and her uncle have been into railways basically her whole life, so she's been brought up around railways, and she moved to Milton Keynes to become and be uh, an employee at Network Rail. Um, and she's she's really very knowledgeable about uh, about how the railway works and um, you know all all of that good stuff, which is which is brilliant. It's nice to see in someone that age. Um, but she asked me, how long have I been volunteering at the Neen Valley? I said, well, I joined in about 2012. Um, I've been a guard for about five years, and I've just started training to become a signaller. And she said to me, ten years? Wow, that's ages! I was like, no, 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 unacceptable. Stop being young, damn it. That's not okay. Sorry, say again. Manchester's going to be sick of me. I don't do football teams. That is not Manchester Centre game. Make your mind up. I don't do the sports ball, I'm afraid. It's not my cup of tea. Okay. Yes, I, I have never been a fan of the sports ball. It's uh, it's it's never never appealed to me. Mainly because all of the people who used to bully me in school were massively into football, and I wasn't. I liked trains and Doctor Who. It's you know, <laughs> no, no one in my family really likes the sports ball. Rugby, rugby, we like in my house. <laughs> but I only, only really like the Six Nations and stuff. Hello, Doctorus. I'm I'm doing as well as can be expected. How are you? Iron Bridge is six miles away, so I'm going to fly over it in a moment. And then we swing back round to the north. I think the Jodrell Bank is our next landmark. No. 
Oh my god. Knowledge There we go, that's Iron Bridge. Nice. Looks good. Okay, now then. Turn to the north. Shawberry approach, contact. Shawberry approach, Pucker, X-ray goal, 168, 1000 feet. Me, Tina is here. Um, yes, I am absolutely 12. Certainly not 32, no. Um, no, weirdly, it's not my favourite episode. It is a good episode, but it's not my favourite. <clears throat> I mean, it should be my favourite, because it ticks all the boxes. Trains, Doctor Who, Peter Capaldi, Frank Skinner. Th these are all things I like, but it's not my favourite. Do I like the Sealand football team? I mean, I am a lord of Sealand, so I guess I have to. Um, are the Sealanders? What? What would the Sealand football team mascot be? Because I, I feel, I feel like it, it would have to be just like a really um, mundane sea animal of some description. Um, the Sealand cod. <laughs> Ralph Little plays for them. Okay, fair enough then. <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess, the Orient Express uh, in Mummy on the Orient Express is technically a spaceship that just happens to look like a train. So I, I would argue that that doesn't really count. But that's just me. <laughs> Jod Rule Bank coming up. Twenty miles. Um, yes, I can expand on that right now. Um, so when I got married last year, uh, me Tina and her husband, um, bought me a gift and Victoria a gift uh, and that gift was a lord and ladyship uh, for Sealand so we are now both lord and lady Alden Farrow of Sealand um, or as uh, or as she calls us lord and lady of the choo choos <laughs> and it's, it was the most hilarious and brilliant gift I think we received and it is framed on my bedroom wall. I'm very happy with it. It genuinely made me happy. Contact Manchester Approach. Again, they're going to be sick of me. The seals. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> Jodrell Bank Observatory. Let's drop down and say hello. Wonder if they found any aliens. I don't know if genuinely concerned is the right word, just slightly bemused at what you were going to buy me, possibly. But it was a lovely gift, I was very touched. Very me, I approved. Here we go, Jungle Bank Observatory. Coming up now. Which is what uh, I believe did uh, Tom Baker fall off of this? I think he did. This, this was his regeneration. Fell off Jodrell Bank. Or was he pushed? There we go. Hello! 
Right, Fountain Abbey, 60 miles. Getting some height. I think we're about to fly over um, Snake's Pass pretty much, or that might be a bit further east, actually. Yeah, looking at the land elevation, it's probably a bit further east. And yeah, we're, we're beelining straight over Manchester, so it's a li 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 little, little further that way for Snake's Pass. I mean, I could just go and have a look, couldn't I? I, I had my honeymoon in Derbyshire, so we did a drive over Snakes Pass, and it is a stunning view. Uh, because you can see all the way out to Manchester and uh, out practically out the sea on a clear day. There we are. This, 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 this is where Snakes Pass is. And I think over there is uh, somewhere. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll cycle back around and have a look in a minute because I believe. No, I may, I may have got this wrong. I may have missed Snakes Pass entirely. Um, but around here somewhere um, is. Royston Vasey uh, from the League of Gentlemen. Wall Wally Bridge. Oh, no, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's, let's not overdo it. Don't want to overstress the aircraft or, or, or Blackout, actually. N neither of those, thank you. Today, thanks. Um, High Peak there. Um, Chapel Lifrith. Uh, hang on. Hayfield. Birch. Vale, New Mills, um, trying to remember what way everything is. And my geography of this part of the world is less than optimum. It might be it just in front, actually. Hold on. It's that down there. Glossop. Ah, oh, here, yes, here we are. We're, we're about to fly right over it. That's Glossop, uh, and then from Glossop, we kind of do a little turn to the right. Yeah, yeah, this looks very familiar. Hadfield, there we are. Uh, that down there is Royston Vasey, where it's where they filmed the bulk of the League of Gentlemen. Are you local? <laughs> Indeed, Angela, it will teach me not to be local. Yeah. A little turn to the right and uh, get, get back on our flight plan because that, that was an unacceptably long detour. <laughs> uh, Fountain Abbey, that's where we want to be. 38 miles away. Houses and shops and roads. Um, d and, and the roads, do they take you to local places? Lines and lines and lines and lines and lines, indeed. Phone is making noises. I'm just going to check I've not missed anything important. 
I have not. That's good. Hmm. I think we're about to hit some cloud. I believe it's raining up in Scotland, so we should hit some rain at some point as well. <coughs> you lied! There is a Swansea! <laughs> Fifty-eight percent fuel. I think I think we're doing all right, actually. We're up, we're up past Manchester already. It's not doing too bad. How how is the? Uh, oh oh, where did we? Yeah, we'll be fine. Fine. Loads of it. Loads of it. Might not actually be loads of it. We may have to land somewhere. It is not always raining in Scotland. I'll have you know that when I was up there filming Biggest Little Railway, there were three days out of the 14 uh, that it wasn't raining. So there. How did you get sunburn in Edinburgh? That shouldn't be possible. <laughs> I mean, it almost certainly was raining somewhere else during those three days, yes. But, you know, so don't let that get in the way of a good story. Speaking of which, I've just realised I'm a bit... Uh, uh, back to the Future, Bill or Ted, a hot tub time machine. Well, Bill and Ted is I'm indifferent to. A hot tub time machine can get in a time machine and hot tub off uh, so it never gets made and um, Back to the Future is the greatest 80s film ever made so Back to the Future obviously here we are Fountain Abbey A lot of clouds about suddenly. Ooh, quite dark clouds as well. Ooh. Not sure about that. <laughs> That's true, yes. Fair, fair point, Bettina, fair point. There it is, Fountain Abbey. Um, which I don't know very much about. I assume it's an abbey of some kind. <laughs> Beyond that, I'm not sure. Next stop, Tees, the transporter bridge. Lemming approach? That doesn't sound promising. That's a very good summary of that film, eh, kid? <coughs> it's, it's got very grim all of a sudden. But we're, we're only 23 miles out, so I'll, 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 I'll hang around below the cloud cover for the moment. off the front wall because it seems determined to make the climb. Welcome to Scotland. No, we're nowhere near Scotland yet. Scotland is miles away. Acknowledge how not. There we go. Cloud, cloud cover's easing off a bit now. That's alright. T-side approach. Oh, I really want to go and see Back to the Future the Musical. I think it's still playing in London, but I've, I've not got around to going. I must see if I can go see it before it closes. It may have closed already, to be fair. I haven't kept up with it, but... I... 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 
don't not like Bill and Ted. It's 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 just in the middle of the three films. It's I, I it's it's not the kind of film that I've watched again and again and again. I think I've seen it once and enjoyed it. Um, but it's no Back to the Future. Yeah, all theatres expensive nowadays. Mind you, everything's expensive nowadays, so... Anyone remember that song by either Kaiser Chiefs? Oh, everything's expensive nowadays. No? Do I like the Doctor Who TV movie? It gave us Paul McGann, and his big finish stuff is brilliant, so for that reason I cannot dislike the Doctor Who TV movie. Apart from that, it, it is not great, is it? It's, yeah. This is what happens when you get Americans involved. There was a cartoon? I didn't know about this. I still haven't seen the sequel. It's one of those that's on my list to watch. It was too mid-Atlantic. That's a very good summary, actually. I approve of that. Here we are. T's Transporter Bridge. Right, and to the north. I've never seen Bill and Ted... Um... Oh, what's the second one called? No, I've not, I've not seen the second one. I, n I know roughly the plot, but I've, just, it's, I've never got around to watching it. Bogus journey, that's it. Yeah, but the only reason the Doctor didn't make out with his companions was because of Mary Whitehouse. Let's be honest here. Um, if the... <laughs> I am reasonably certain that if Mary Whitehouse hadn't gone on her um, spree of um, um, immorality, because she hated Doctor Who anyway, can you imagine how much of a fit she would have had if the Doctor started snogging his companions? I mean, she already thought it was the devil's work. Finish has done just done a box set with the Tenth Doctor and K9. It was rather good. So I enjoyed it. It, it had um, several classic companions in it. Um, uh, Leela, Nissa, and Ace were in it, and it's it's quite good actually. I enjoyed it. Twelve miles to go, and I'm I'm already dipping lower than I would like to be, so let's, let's, just, let's just try and get, get, gain a little bit of height here. There we go. <laughs> Probably found songs of praise for the Secular. <laughs> I like that. Uh, songs of praise. Dear, oh dear. Newcastle approach Hawker X ray golf one six eight six hundred feet. Hawker X ray golf one six eight Hey, 
Angel of the North coming up in four miles. Oh god, just just check out the heat haze effect. This game is much more pretty than it has any right to be. And bearing in mind, medium graphic settings, because that's all I can get it to run at on this computer. Insane. Anyway, look, it's Lee Evans with a radiator on his arms. And if you understand that reference, please accept the highest of fives. <laughs> Weren't they going to offer it to him at one point? I'm sure Russell T. Davis has uh, put pay to that rumour, but uh, I believe there there was it was mooted at one point that it would be Paul McGann. But yeah, don't know, not sure. It would be nice to see Paul McGann back for the 60th. I have to say, It'd be a nice little nod to Big Finish if we could get him back. Although I, d I do kind of agree with what Peter Capaldi said, that if there's too many Doctors in an episode, um, they do just end up jostling for room. So, yeah. He's not coming back from the 60th, or so he said. I mean, I don't know what to believe. They wouldn't tell us even if, it, if they could. <laughs> Spoilers. Is R RTD omnipresent? Like, you know, God. I'm taking it no one understood the Lee Evans with the radiator on his, his wrists uh, reference. And I am disappointed. There's a town there called Ogle. <laughs> Mildly amusing. Well, not, not a town, a village, really. Fifty percent fuel. We're approaching Newcastle. How's our fuel looking? Six hundred pounds. Okay. We, we 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 might we might have more fuel efficiency if we can ditch these. Um, external fuel tanks, but we'll see. Dunno. Not not taking anything to chance at the moment. If we find a nice flat section of water, um, I'll, I'll ditch them in there once we've run out. For future archaeologists to ponder over. Still not finished the wing tanks. No, no, they're, they're, they're going like troopers still. Um, 670 pounds of fuel left in those. Must have been for a ritual purpose. Isn't that you guys' answer for everything? <laughs> ah, Scottish Centre. Here we go. Scottish Centre, Hunger, oh, I have a vague memory of watching Thunderbirds as a child, but I, can, I, can, I can't tell you anything about it. It's. I know that the movie they made um, a few years ago was absolutely awful. For funsies isn't allowed, fair enough. <laughs> uh, 
Class C airspace. Hills! There be hills. He's off the throttle. Floors Castle coming up, and then we whip across to Edinburgh. We're doing all right, actually. Oh, sorry. What was the last transmission? Okay. Acknowledge. the town of Moor Battle there, um, which where after the Battle of Hastings, uh, as we discussed in last week's episode, uh, the um, uh, William the Conqueror's forces decided, no, do you know what, we want more battle. So they came up here and had a punch up as well. Completely made up. <laughs> Castle. We're doing okay, 46% fuel. We might be alright, you know. We're in Scotland, that's the bulk of the journey done. We're doing way better than I thought we would be by now. Floors Castle. Little wing waggle. Hello! Right, and climb for Edinburgh. Red zone, white zone, I've, I've, I'm so lost. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I mean, can we just talk about the fact it's, it's, it's probably about an hour and ten minutes since we left the ground and we're already hitting Edinburgh. That's pretty good going, I'm not going to lie. This is a brilliant little machine and I love it. I love it very much. How are we doing? 480. I mean, we're not drinking, drinking fuel, but when equally we're not, we're not saving much of it either. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll, we'll, we'll 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 keep the throttle nice and low because I mean, if, as 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 soon as we hit a lock and um, have run out of fuel, I'll I'll ditch the fuel tanks and see and see what that does for the fuel efficiency. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that oh, all of the Scottish people love me right now. You know, dump, dumping fuel tanks in, in their lovely locks. A thing that I would not approve of in real life, by the way. Ditching things in the rivers and seas is not a good thing. And you shouldn't do it. Number approach. Loads of wind turbines, look. Loch! Loch! I'll get it right one day. I, I apologise to the good people of Scotland for murdering their language and their accent and pronunciation. 
Well, basically everything. However, un un unlike my ancestors, I haven't actually murdered any Scottish people, so... I'm just saying it balances out. <laughs> I have seen Airplane. I enjoy Airplane a lot. It's 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 a proper spoof film. Yeah. This feels offensive. Now I'm gonna stop. It's been a few years since I watched it, admittedly. I mean, I, it, it, I feel like it should have been obvious that I um, I have seen uh, and uh, and understand Airplane because uh, one of my flight simulators to video titles is um, is a quote from it. Uh, the one where I flew from Italy is literally titled "Don't Call Me Shirley." <laughs> Coming up on Edinburgh Castle now. Edinburgh. And we're going to whip over the fourth bridge. Head up the Balmoral. Cross to Fort William. Back up to Inverness. Because I, I, I got to do the Great Glen Way. It's just got to be done. Two miles. I do love the hills around here. Lovely hills. Here we go. I'm thoroughly upset the people of Edinburgh now. Edinburgh Castle. Woo! And pull, pull up, 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 up. There we go. I'm, I'm going to do some low passes through the Great Glen Way. <laughs> Well, yeah, because why the hell not? Am I doing anything for bonfire night? Um, trying to keep my animals happy. Um, well, just Rory now, I suppose. But yeah, tr trying to keep Rory happy because, um, but bonfire night is an atrocity, and basically everything from October onwards um, involves loud, some loud noises, and I don't like it. So. Um, screw all of it, to be quite honest with you. Turn the radio on. Yeah, Classic FM does a good calming music for animals. It's a good, it's a good thing. It's a public service. I, I approve. There is the fourth rail bridge. Uh, named after its engineer, uh, Dr. William Fourth Rail Bridge. No, it's na named after the river it crosses. <laughs> the Firth of Forth. Ah. Some 150 years ago, our Victorian forebears built a railway system that was the envy of the world. <laughs> and now we will never see it again. <laughs> Blair Castle, that's our next one. Burning through it. This is fine. Forty percent fuel. We've done most of the country. We're doing all right. Contact Scottish Centre. Oh, 
lot of clouds about. Uh, I don't know anything about a steam engine called Morda. I'm sure someone will tell me. This is not a story I've heard. No, no commitment, these ATCs. None of them. No commitment. They're not in it for the long haul. It's offensive. Tune Dundee approach. Seven miles to go. Bit, bit more throttle in it. And again, no commitment. One one nine or decimal eight seven five. Hawker one six eight. Da 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 I can't carry that note. Little off the throttle. How are we doing? Two thirty. Okay. Not so bad, not so bad. We're doing okay. 17 miles to the castle. Dip down slightly. Let's have a little look at the VFR map. We'll see, see what the damage is. I mean, we, we have come a ridiculously long way on the fuel that we had. I feel like that should be acknowledged. <laughs> Thank you, Ginger Dalek. <laughs> nice. Eleven miles. Contact Scottish Centre. Scottish Centre, Hawker X Ray Golf, one six eight eight thousand five hundred feet. Nine miles. Now, Blair Castle is located in Blair Athol, which is in the Kangol Mountains. Uh, and I used to go on holiday here as a child. This was where the, one of the places we would stay in Scotland. Lovely part of the world. Does anyone remember those really weird bonfire light adverts? Um, when uh, they would say, they would talk about sparklers and they would go, when handling one, always wear a gloved hand. No, not the child, the sparkler. <laughs> it's very weird. When you finish with it, place it in a bucket. Well, no, you're just being silly, aren't you? <laughs> Blair Castle, below us right now. There's a mill. I think that's it just down there. Um, I remember we used to come back with a couple of bags of flour uh, and would do cooking with it and it was glorious. Yeah, Blair Athol. Very nice. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Steady, steady. Let's uh, put some throttle in it and let's uh, climb out of the mountains. <laughs> Keep out of their way. That would be a good shout, I think. The Cairngorm Mountains, ladies and gentlemen. Proper wild Scotland. 
Cairngorm National Park. Stunning part of the world. And where the RAF goes to train. Yeah, they, le they learn to uh, sort of fly at low altitude around this part of the world. The highlands indeed. Our moral is 19 miles away. So we'll be on top of it fairly soon. Not, not, not literally. I'm not. I'm not going to land on Balmoral. I'm, I'm sure the king would be very upset. <sighs> the king. I still can't get used to that. <laughs> very weird. It's okay. As soon as, we, as soon as we find a large stretch of water, we'll drop them and see what that does to our fuel consumption. Anyway, Balmoral Castle, six miles away. 34% of our fuel left. We should be fine. Because we're, we're, we're practically within stone's throw of our destination, comparatively speaking. We've come a long old way. Right, Balmoral Castle. Have a brief, brief moment of uh, silence for Her Majesty as we fly over. And turn to the west. Now have a 60 mile uh, detour to get to Ben Nevis. There we go. <laughs> Looks proper wild, doesn't it? I love it. Mount Ben Nevis, not without Ben's permission. So rude. Bado. <laughs> right. Now, let's see here. I think I'm going to end up, I think, doing a little bit of a left hand turn. And, and just looping back round this way uh, because it's going to take a little bit of a turn to get back round to go up the Great, Great Glen Way because we're basically <laughs> doing that journey and then nipping round and doing it again. So if I, if I, I sort of aim to the left of Ben Nevis and then do do a turn to the right once we go past it. Did you have the fish? <laughs> These people need to go to a hospital. What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. <laughs> Forty-eight months. God, we are really shifting. Right, how is the... We have burned through our external fuel. Okay. Alright, well. Um, I need a nice flat expanse of water. Quite soon. Um, that looks like one over there. That will do. 29% of our fuel. 
Go on, what's your joke? 28% of fuel. Oh, bloody hell, we're burning through that quick. Christ. Um. Oh, bloody hell. Right, he's, he's off the throttle. Let's, um. Yeah, let, let's. let's that, that's, that's actually quite serious, actually. Um. Right, okay. Um. Turn towards Fort William. Let's try and, um not burn through our fuel immediately like. That would be a sensible thing to do, I suspect. Right. Okay, it's 38 miles, okay. Um, right. Drop them on a nice Scottish village. No! We are going for realism! Nipping around Blair Athol again there, look. Goodness. Uh. Look, if we're doing this, we're doing it properly. When I do a joke, I commit to it, damn it. big flat expanse of water so if we nip down there briefly and just dip, ditch ditch our fuel tanks hopefully they will end up in the water with a nice big splash and won't destroy anyone's house That's it. And payload. That's it. Come on. Come on. And straighten her up. And jettison. I said jettison. Well, I pressed jettison and nothing happened, so... What, what, why didn't that work? I don't understand. Um... Okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll roll with it. <laughs> and, um... See what that does to our payload. Thousand pounds of fuel. Twenty-seven percent. Um, hmm. Let's let's see how we go. Knock knock. Who's there? A giraffe walks into a bar. He lies on the floor. A guy says, "Why is he lying there?" There's another guy said, "It's not a lion. It's a giraffe." <laughs> okay, that's quite good. Yeah, it looks like they, they modelled the tanks no matter what, which is fine. We can we can work with this. It's all good. Okay, we are 20 miles from Ben Nevis, which is good. Did this flight a few weeks ago, didn't we? That was fun. I enjoyed that one. A little, little bit more leisurely than this one.
fly up to Ireland sometime. I, I might do. Maybe that can be the St. Patrick's Day special next year. On tonight's show, Matt nips across to Ireland. I'm spotting a theme developing here. <laughs> heard of Inspector Space Time, of course. And also, hashtag and a movie is happening, and that makes me very happy. I just re-watched Community. It's a good show. Mad, but good. Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Eight miles to Ben. mountain in the country. I'm a buzz it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hello down there. Down there is Fort William. There we are, Neptune's staircase just down there. We're now going to follow the Great Glen Way, but faster this time. <laughs> Like I said, be rude not to while we're up here. And I'm going to try and get some low flying in over the lock. 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 I think this is the Bing Maps skin. I, I, I didn't turn on the Google Maps one this time. Or last time, actually. It, it doesn't look too bad, actually, with the Bing Maps. They're a lot more consistent in their quality, even if that consistency is quite low. Google is good in, in is better in certain spots, uh, but gen generally speaking, the uh, um, the uh, the Google Maps looks a lot better. Here we go. Right, how low can you go? Okay, if I can get below a hundred, I'll call that a win. One nine eight, come on. Oh, oh. I don't know if I'm brave enough actually. Um come on. Alright, call it 150. See it, come on. Oh, a little lower, a little lower, that's it. Come on. Ah, oh, no, I'm too much of a coward. 
<laughs> nah. Ah, too much of a wuss. Can't do it. <laughs> too much of a coward. Ah. Now Nessie's the next one up. <laughs> there we go. That's not very wide this one, I'm not going to attempt it on there. Four percent of our fuel. There's Ness. Got seventy-two miles. Doesn't doesn't feel that far when you when you when you're doing it in a jet. Fly by a Fort Augustus. There we go. Right. Hey, right there. Hundred and fifty, and I'll say I'm happy. Hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty. Come on. Come on. One forty. One thirty. One twenty. Oh, 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 nearly. One hundred. That's it. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too much. Uh, MLS approach. Knowledge. I mean, this is stunning with the clouds and the sun going down. Pretty game. <coughs> Tune in Vanessa Brake, contact. Have a strap, Sil. Got 22% fuel. I just want to do one of these challenges and have it actually work for once. Rocket over there. Twelve miles out from Inverness Castle, which is where I set that. Oh, let's, let's try and do more. One more. One more. Come on. Ah, see, I'm, I'm getting cocky now. I don't want to be cocky. Oh, this is pretty. That's a hundred and up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I've enjoyed this one. This has been a good stream. I've, I've liked this immensely. D despite the slight panic at the, the game was going to crash for a minute there, this, this has gone rather well. Back, back at Stonehenge. Remember Stonehenge? That feels like a long time ago. 21% fuel, okay. We may end up going straight the wick. Rather than doing John O'Groats. But we'll we'll try. We'll try. Now if we can get Wick in, sorry, John O'Groats in and still make it the wick, I will do it. 
It may have to be a one-shot only <laughs> affair, but we will do it. Inverness Castle. Just there. I think that might... Is that modelled as a castle now? It might be. Sure. There will be no crash. It will work as intended. And everything will be fine. And we will have cake and ice cream. 20% fuel. It'll be fine. It's just occurred to me there is likely to be low visibility. Um, do I, I, I have I been flying with nav lights off? That's terribly remiss of me. There we are. Now, now I have nav lights on. Ah. Oh. Failure bell. What type of cake? Um, don't know. Dundee cake, I guess, given we're in Scotland. Here we go. Oh, and it's raining. Welcome to Scotland, everybody! <laughs> oh, I can't see a bloody thing. Did you just make a coughing pun, Eckage? Go and stand in the corner. <laughs> that was quite funny. Deep fried cake, yeah. Seventeen miles to go. We might be alright, you know. Let's uh, check in with the old uh, VFR map. Um. I mean, it's it's only the Great Glen Way again, so it's not exactly far. I mean, comparatively, it is quite far, but not not like insurmountably far. Yeah, I reckon we can get Land's End in as well. I'm sure Monty would adore investing in a tea shop. You got it. Going to one one nine or decimal eight seven five. Hawker one six. Caffeinate. <laughs> That's actually clever. Very good. Scottish Centre. around the corner. I can taste it. I can taste it. Victory is near. <laughs> I told you we'd do it quicker as well. We're pretty much bang on two hours at the moment. Knock on wood. Let's see how far. 55 miles. Piece of cake.
calls this cabin temperature select inoperative. That, 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 that's nothing. Fifty miles to John O'Groats. We did a thing! <laughs> Mildly successfully! <laughs> Start thinking about our airport. Um, let's see. Uh, airport's further from you. Wick then. No, no, not view field. We want Wick. There we go. Number five. I mean, not yet. We're not. We're not going to tune in yet. But if, if we have it to hand, then we we can't go wrong, can we? It'll, it'll be all good. Forty miles, seventeen percent fuel. <laughs> Ease off the throttle a bit. Not, not too much. Not too much. We we do need to keep going. Oh, so soon. Well, lovely. <coughs> it's been lovely to see you. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you next week. We're probably um, gonna hand the channel back to Derek next week for. Um, a continuation of Stellaris. Uh, so you've got that to look forward to. Good night. See you again soon. 34 miles. Don't know what I was worried about. This is going fine. Has just got very cloudy all of a sudden, mind. <laughs> Turn to the right, or the left rather, not the right. <coughs> Excuse me. Twenty four miles, sixteen per cent fuel. Come on, come on, John O'Groats. I can taste it. It tastes of whiskey. That might just be the whiskey. <laughs> Start descending. The nearer we get, the uh, the better. miles. Where's Wick? It's over there somewhere, I think. I don't see it right away, but it is over there somewhere. Right. Dipping into the cloud cover. Just keep an eye on the altimeter. So it'd be just my luck to go ploughing straight into the ground at this point. Virtually zero visibility, which is ideal, but 
fine. Ten miles. There it is. We made it. <laughs> Land's end to John O'Groats in just under two hours, I think. I'll, I'll have to do the maths separately, but yeah, I think that is just under two hours, which, frankly, pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Tune Wick Tower. Request full stop hammer. There it is. Just to prove I've done it, John O'Groats. Turn that off. Just take a snap. Oh, uh oh. What? What? <sighs> right, screw that. <laughs> no, unacceptable. Did anyone see how much fuel we had left? <laughs> I don't know what I did. But. <laughs> it wasn't happy about it. <sighs> Too hard a bank at speed. Yeah. Must be it. Right, well, I'm not having that. <laughs> Can anyone remember what the fuel was? I want to get this right 16%. Oh, that'll do. Close enough. And it'll be in about two hours. So, about. I reckon about 17.55. Yeah, that'll do. Well, that, that may be a bit darker, actually. I don't, um... There we are. It's more like it. Right, okay. So, where were we? Sir's departure. Try that again. But we did make it to John O'Croats. Oh, I can't believe that. I'm so upset. <sighs> right. Ready to fly. There we go. There we are. John O'Groats. It's like nothing happened. We, 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 we will chop this out seamlessly in the edit. There we go. Oh, oh my God, we made it to John O'Groats. First time with that, with nothing going wrong. Amazing, wow. I'm, 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 I, I, I am the greatest. Go me, woo, and, and, and stuff. Right, that is not the fuel that we had, so no, no. No, 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 this, this, this. It was about, 16% so let's yeah let's go with that 15% right that's better okay so wick request full stop landing Knowledge pattern entry. Left base runway one tree, Hawker one six eight. 
What crash? There was no crash. Shut your face. <coughs> right. Right, we're going straight into the pattern and then call it a night. Too fast. You're too fast. See me going on about it? Just hurtful, that is. I apologize. Car right. air brakes on. Don't want to go too slowly. There we go. That's about right. Actually, given how fast we're descending, probably not that slow actually. That seems to be leveling off a bit ish, 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 yeah, kind of. There you go, okay. Okay. Oh, that would have been so good. I'm annoyed now. <sighs> Never mind. Not a problem. <laughs> Say, don't you dare crash now. Okay, we are five miles out, really? Okay. No, no, not five miles, that's nonsense. Right, okay. I'm gonna get cleared to land in a moment, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Finished our turn, we'll put our landing gear down. And wiggle it in. I think we're alright for the wind. It's a, it's a little bit of a crosswind, but we can we can make it work, that'll be fine. Okay. A bit more flaps. That'll do. And straighten her up. And landing gear down, and one hand on the throttle, please. I'm be slap bang in the middle of the glide slope, really. Good night, Dalek Sec. Thank you for coming. on the throttle. A bit more throttle. Throttle. See, gently does it now. Come on. Little turn. That's it. Come on. Easy. Just pop the camera up ever so slightly. I can see what I'm doing. And, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Little bit of wind. Focus, focus. Just then move to the right. Bring us over the runway. And pull up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Left a bit, left a bit. That's it. Come on, down, 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 down. That's it. Come on, come on. Get the brakes on. Get down and get the brakes on. That's it. That's it. Come on. And. That'll do. <laughs> nice. Well, 
but skidding all over the shop. <laughs> but I have got the landing gear down. <laughs> Taxi to park. Ground Hawker X ray Golf 168 taxi to parking. Hawker X ray Golf 168 taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Charlie Bravo. That's going to be that one there. Taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Charlie Bravo Hawker 168. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm annoyed I, I didn't get it first time, but I'm going to blame that on me wanting to take my fancy screenshot, not and not focusing on piloting. But had I not done that, I'm, I'm fairly confident I'd have made it first time. <coughs> it wasn't even really a crash. The, ge the game just decided, no, you've overstressed the aircraft. Um... Um, I mean, a ATC, I, d I don't want to tell you how to do your job on nothing, but... Okay, that aircraft just m merged into the... into the into end space for a minute there, but never mind. Another hunter there, look. Well, we'll taxi to the parking. Yeah, had I not stopped to take the screenshot like a moron, I'm confident we'd have got it first time. <coughs> one day I will do one of these stupid things and it will work first time. And, and there will be no issues and I will be proven not to be completely inept. And hard left. That's it. Left a bit. Left a bit. A bit. And stop. Close the throttle, parking brake on, shut down the engine. Oh, well, hang on, he's, he's not happy with where I've parked, fine. <laughs> Check the fuel, 14%. Quite pleased with that. <laughs> Plenty of fuel, as it turns out. Moon of worried. Come on, give it some welly. There we go. That's it. Is, it. is he directing me to the left? What what's going on here? I don't. Okay. Yeah, you're happy with that, are you? Okay. Fine. Engine off. Well then, quite happy with that to be honest. Like I say, bit bit annoyed that we broke the aeroplane at the last possible second, but I'm pretty happy with that. Good stream. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, right. Uh, say hi to Monty. I will do. No problem. I think the chat has just packed in on the stream as well, which is excellent. Just try refreshing it. Um, I don't think that's going to help, but we'll try it anyway. No, that achieved nothing. Okay, never mind. It is indeed a lovely sky, Eckage. I think so too. Well, well then, as the sun sets at Wick Airport, um, I'd like to say thanks very much for joining me. Uh, take care, everybody. Uh, I'm going to open the canopy so I can uh, climb out the aircraft when I finish this spiel. Anyway, yes. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll be back next week. Um, I think 
Derek will be back playing Stellaris next week because I I, I wanna I wanna finish that off. It's it's the first streaming series I've done uh, with a game, so I wanna get that finished. So we'll do a few more episodes of that, um, and there will be one next week at the same time. But for now, I'd like to say thanks for joining me, everybody. Look after yourselves and um, stay safe and all of that good stuff. Ah, oh, just listen to that wind. Nice. Pretty game. Okay. Good night, everybody. Look after one another. Be safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye!